Question 11 says a steel wire with a mass of 27 grams and a length of 1.15 meters is strung on a base so the distance from the nut to the bridge is 1.1 meter. A. Compute the linear density of the string. B. What velocity wave on the string will produce the desired fundamental frequency of the E1 string at 45.23 hertz? C. Calculate the tension required to obtain the proper frequency. D. Calculate the wavelength of the string's vibration. And E. What is the wavelength of the sound produced in the air? Assume that the speed of sound in the air is 343 meters per second. So the first part, it gives us the length of this, of this thing, and it gives us a, it gives us a mass. And so the, the length that it gives us is 1.15 meters, and the mass is 27 grams. So 27 grams. The first thing we're going to do is convert that to kilograms, so it's 0 0.027, 0 0.027 kilograms. And the next thing we're going to do is figure out the, uh, the linear density, which is, which is uh, the Greek letter mu. The linear density is equal to the, the mass, I don't know why that just happened, the mass over the, over the, um, the change of x or the distance, the length, so we could put L, M over L, and so we have 0 0.027 divided by 1.15, so the linear density, part A, is equal to 0, 0 0.023478. Four seven eight, and that's kilograms per meter. So the second question says, what velocity wave on the string will produce the desired fundamental frequency of forty five point two three hertz? So the we can use the the fundamental frequency, um, or it's the first harmonic uh, frequency equation. So the fu which the first harmonic is the fundamental frequency. So this equals the velocity over the wavelength, or and it also equals the velocity over to L. So here's the thing. The first thing we calculated linear density, we used the, the total length of this thing because it gives us the total length and the total mass. So we have to use that one. On the second part, though, we have to use the length, the effective length. So from the nut to the bridge, 1.1. So we, we would do the... Uh, so we'll go ahead and solve for velocity first. So velocity equals the fundamental frequency times 2 times L. And so the the fundamental frequency it says 45.23 hertz times two times L and L is going to be 1.1 meters because it's the effective length. When you multiply all of that out, you should get an answer on part B of 99.506 meters per second. Then part C wants to know what tension is required to get this frequency. So um, we can use the the tension equation. So F of n is equal to is equal to n over 2L times the square root of the force, and we're going to call the force tension over the the linear density. And so n in this case is the the fundamental uh, frequency. It's the first harmonic, so it equals one. 2L is going to be two times 1.1. So the frequency we said the uh, what what we're trying to do is solve for the uh, the tension. So we'll go ahead and solve for that really quick. So we'll get frequency times 2L over N. Uh, we can square this whole thing and multiply it by the linear density, and that should equal the tension. And the frequency that we want is uh, 45.23. So 45.23 times 2 times L. So again, we're going to get uh, our the the velocity that we got from part one is going to is going to be the this answer right here so 45.23 times 2 times uh, L which is 1.1 divided by 1 so um, this is effectively a pointless uh, thing in this fundamental problem and then we square the value and we multiply it by the 0 0.023478 that we got in part A for the linear density. So the tension should, uh, you should get an answer for tension of 232.4661. Then part D asks us to calculate the wavelength of the string's vibration. We can start off with the same equation that we used in uh, part B. So the, the fundamental frequency, the, the frequency of the first harmonic, is equal to V over wavelength, 
which is equal to V over 2L. So we could solve this two ways. We could solve it using frequency, we could solve it using velocity over 2L. Uh, I think the easiest way to do it is the frequency. So the wavelength is equal to the, the velocity over, over the fundamental frequency. In part B, we discovered that the velocity was 99, 99.506. We know that the fundamental frequency, it tells us, is 45.23. So the wavelength on this string should equal 2.2 meters. And the last thing it asks us is, what is the wavelength of the sound produced in air? Assume the speed of, of sound in air is 343 meters per second. So we're going to say that the velocity is 343 meters per second. And so what we have is the, the velocity of air. So we could say that the velocity uh, of a wave is equal to the, the, the change of x over, over the change of time. What the change of x is, so if we decide, if we um, arbitrarily assign this time as the time for one, for, uh, one full wavelength, then we could say that the distance is the wavelength, so so velocity equals wavelength over over the o, over the period. So this being the period of, of revolution. So if we know the frequency, so the period of revolution is equal to one over the frequency, and so we could say that the the velocity is equal to the uh, wavelength times the frequency. And then all we got to do is solve for the wavelength. So wavelength is equal to velocity over frequency. The problem gives us the velocity of 343, and we get the frequency from uh, part B is 45.23. So the wavelength of this thing in the air should be about 7.58 meters.